For now, though, let's jump into our DIY segment. And as I did mention, we want to talk to a young entrepreneur who's turning paper into jewelry and mosaic designs. Karibu sana to the show, Diana and Jerry Thiru. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, now, you actually started this kind of recently, right? Or how long has it been? Some time back, but I used to do it as a hobby. As a hobby. Yeah. Now you're doing it full time. Yeah. And you started this um, when sort of the curfew and lockdown happened. Yeah. As a way of making ends meet. Yeah. Were you working somewhere previously? Yeah. And then what happened? Previously, me and my partner, we were, we, we were he's, he's an IT, IT, IT person. He's a, he, no, I was accompanying him during that field work mm -hmm. when he goes for the work I, I accompany him I, I i used to be like his hand person okay yeah then all of a sudden after the pandemic the flow of people for the it services repairs it went down yeah no to, to make end meet it was harder for us yeah now i started this one as a full-time job all right yeah. well kudos to you for being able to pick yourself up and and put your hands to do something yeah. um that's very important and certainly a lesson that many people can learn and in fact you already have some love someone texted in very early this morning or okay, not very early this morning but earlier in the earlier segment saying i'm sharon from embu and i'm so encouraged by diana's story having known her for close to six years she's a hard-working lady and she will make it with god by her side and she says i wish you luck girl remember as your friend i got you what a nice friend you know Sharon from Embu yeah I know her that's a nice friend uh, shout out to you Sharon from Embu um, and so here you are um, COVID has obviously interrupted your income flow and then you decided to start the thing that you were doing as a hobby is what now you've decided to try and go full-time in yeah so when did you start it as a hobby sometime back I started it as a hobby last year but one okay but then I, I, it was on and off. Okay. I just do it, leave it. Then all of a sudden now I said, and this work can bring some income. All right. Yeah, but. So who taught you this? How did, how did you learn it? I learned it through a friend, mm -hmm. a long time friend, mm -hmm. a mentor too. He has been my mentor for a long time. He, he has an idea. He used to be in an art center okay. along Gong Road. Mm, the the art center was called Darubin. Okay. Yeah, through there he he was the IT person there. Then the IT and used to design cards. Okay. N when when he was there, he learned how to. He saw how they used to to make the papers. Then he taught me. Alright. Yeah, because I, I had that urge of creativity and art in me now he, he taught me and I, I picked it i picked up from there as a hobby from hobby no as a okay yeah all right well let's get to you actually showing us then how to make it so for example those the long beads you can just pick those up and show the camera These um, ones? those are actually yeah those ones yeah that's paper yeah those are, paper. those are beads made from paper yes very interesting and do they last long? Yeah, they last long because the 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 end product you apply a, a certain thing called varnish. Mm -hmm. The varnish makes it clear mm -hmm. and prevent it from tearing. No paper can tear. Right. Yeah. Once it enters water, yeah. it can tear. But once you apply the varnish, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I really like those long ones too. I mean, very lovely. Um, and you're going to show us actually how then you you make the the beads from paper yeah okay so what paper are you using first of all do you individually color these no oh. I use waste money I recycle okay waste papers okay eg magazines newspapers so the colors that are on there is from the color of the paper yes. that you use there's nothing yes. else you've added no. just like this one very cool yeah you cut okay. it from a magazine or a newspaper yeah or from a calendar okay yeah, but mostly from calendars and magazines does the paper have to be you know any sort of like uh, weight yeah 
-hmm. Because when you, for example, when you use a newspaper, it is light. When Too light. Yeah, and once you apply uh, the glue, it it will. For a mocha. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. No, it, the paper is supposed to be at least harder. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, can you show us then how you actually do the rolling? And do, do does the paper? How do you cut the paper, for example? For example, what style, which way does it have to be cut? There are many, there are many ways to cut it. Mm -hmm. But let me show you now, like this one. For, for example, when you you want a certain shape, like this one, uh -huh. you just from this end to the other end. But so it's like a very a, long triangle. Yeah, triangular. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then once you cut, you take just regular paper glue. Yeah. Okay. Then you apply. And she's starting from the widest part of the triangle, yeah. the base of the triangle. So just a little bit, I guess. You can use any any piece of a. Of a stick okay to spread the glue okay so she's spreading the glue with the toothpick I think that is from one end mm -hmm. to the other end mm -hmm. then you take up a metal those ones in a particular to quite do come on as a okay yeah <laughs> Niki chukua ka safety pin not safety pin paper clip ni fungwe yeah. Okay. As long as it's straight. Okay. Na thick kidogo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you start from the from the base again. Yeah. Then you make sure it depends with your hands. Now for me, kama glue imenishika. Mm -hmm. So you have to remove the glue from your hands okay. first so that you can hold it from there. Okay. Then you just roll. Yeah. Holding it tightly mm -hmm. so that the the moment you remove the 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 metal, okay. Then your shimu ibaki pale. Okay. Where? See ni kazi. Kazi. So by the time you finish making enough beads, like how long does it typically take you to make a, a necklace like those long ones? Um, roughly. Assuming already the beads are, are ready, ah. I can take one hour and a half. And if the beads are not ready? You know, like this ones here. These ones are ready beads. Oh, okay. So this is something you just do when you're chilling, yeah. with your girl, when you're hanging yeah. out, you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. So that you have them ready. First, you, you, you have to make the beads ready. Yeah. Then so that you can come to the necklace. Okay. Yeah. And approximately how much paper are we talking about then like for, uh, is it like one, do you think one sheet of paper is enough? Are we talking about two sheets of paper? One sheet to make? To make a necklace, like maybe the one you're wearing, the size of the one you're wearing. How much paper are we talking about? You can't approx approximate by a piece of paper, mm. but you can approximate by the number of beads. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can take a whole, like um, a calendar, a whole calendar can like this ones you can say this one is a whole calendar okay yeah okay but for a necklace it it take around um, 30 to 35 beads okay yeah so that All can right. be a whole so the one you've rolled up now you finished with it yeah you finished rolling yeah uh-huh then you carefully remove it and there it is wow then from this point is when now you're saying you apply varnish yeah, you wait it for to, to dry because you know, so that yeah, it's a chic or anything, mm -hmm. any particle because the varnish. Once you apply the varnish, it goes smooth. Mm -hmm. Now you, you after rolling, you take a frame. You, you either you make a frame or you buy a frame, mm -hmm. a certain any. Then you you make some some you you tie. Um, a rope mm -hmm. from one end to another, mm -hmm. but see rope ya kawaida in a mostly wire, so that your varnish ukipaka is thick. Okay. Okay. 
So you thread the beads through yeah. this wire, yeah. hang them up someplace. Yeah. Then the varnish, you just paint yeah. with a you use a brush. Interesting. Then you wait for them to dry. Wow. So these are like the beads that are used in, say, like when you go shopping at Masai Market. Yes. Nikaratasi. Nikaratasi. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I was this <laughs> years old and I discovered something new like that. Very interesting. And so now you're selling your pieces. Yes. How much do your necklaces go for? A set. Here is a set of a necklace, mm -hmm. an earring, mm -hmm. and a bangle. Okay. For a set, it goes for 500. Wow. Okay. For a necklace, earring, and bangle. Yeah. 500 is how yes. much? Yes. Okay. And where are you selling them? Do you have a page mm. on social media or how on are Twitter. you on Twitter? Yeah, my Twitter handle. Okay. Yes. And how has it been so far now? I mean, you've only been at it a few maybe months, yes. but um, how is it? Is it picking up? Sort of challenges yeah. here yeah. and there. Yeah. Around there, around where I stay, you may find they are not that much selling, mm -hmm. but on online you can find at least. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming to the show, Diana, and for sharing uh, this skill with us. I certainly have learned something new. Who thank knew it could you. be this easy to make beads? And beautiful. Yeah, and they're very lovely from waste materials, which yes. is great because it's better for the environment. But um, Asante Sana, what's your Twitter handle? At Gedian. At Gedian. Yes. All right. So you guys, you can follow her at Gedian and uh, get yourself some of her... Um, uh, jewelry pieces there uh, and support her business and with that said we're going to take a break as we get ready for the top of the hour still coming up on the show we have dennis's weight loss journey and we're also going to be touching on relationships um as well and uh, i see some of you guys have ex responded to my question there i did ask you because someone asked you know if i believe that god exists and i absolutely do and i asked you if that's a topic you'd like to see here on the show um so, uh, a lot of you, or at least I see some comments here of people saying yes. Someone says, yes, please bring someone to discuss the topic of whether God is real. I lately have interacted with people um, who don't believe so. And I think that once my faith has become so weak, I have many questions regarding the existence of God and Jesus. Are they real? Great. Okay. Another says, um, please bring that topic if God exists, because why does he allow bad things to happen to people? I think to follow Christ, it's, it is as it has to be as your personal decision but not to be triggered by situations which you had no control of completely all right very good discussions here um and i'll certainly look into that topic and see who we can bring on board for that but with that said let's see you at the top of the hour this is full circle with joyce stay tuned <laughs>